is Fake Jeopardy. Let's meet today's contestants. He's a newsman from Spartanburg, South Carolina, Henry Coburn. She's an ocean lady from St. Petersburg, Florida, Sarah Hall. And our returning champion, a managed social media specialist from Charlotte, North Carolina, Jessica Finkel, whose two-day cash winnings total $65,000. And now, here is the host of Fake Jeopardy, Botox Inject. Hey, and welcome to another game of Fake Jeopardy. Jessica Finkel is here for the third time in her first two games amassed $65,000. None of it real. She won't see a lick of it. But Sarah and Henry are here this time. They want a chance to cash that fake check. You guys ready to play? Let's do it. Here are the categories for the first round. Starting with Bop to the Top. In Bop to the Top, we'll be dealing with um, Billboard chart topping songs. We give you the lyrics. You give us the song. Then the boys are back. Are we seeing a pattern yet? I think Sarah Hall is, get your head in the game, bet on it, B-E-T in quotation marks. That means B-E-T will come up in each correct response. I can't dance. And finally, humu humu nuku nuku apua'a. Jessica's our returning champion. She's going to pick first. Kirby, let's do bet on it for 200. All right. From A to Z. Jessica. What is alphabet? Correct. Let's do bet on it for 400. A test version. Sarah. What is beta? Correct. Bet on it, 600. Holy place. Henry. Bethlehem. Nope. Sarah. What is Bethlehem? No. Oh. Jessica. <laughs> what is a Bethel? A Bethel. Uh, who got the last one? Sarah, I believe. Bet on it, 800. Engaged. Jessica. What is betrothed? Correct. We'll finish out the category for a thousand. Sounds good. Member of a notable basketball team. That's a globetrotter. Jessica. Let's do I Can't Dance for 200. This toothy fish on the left sure couldn't dance during Katy Perry's Super Bowl halftime show. Sarah. What is left shark? That's right. I Can't Dance 400. This dancer turned actor is known for his performances ranging from Billy Elliot on stage to Rihanna's Umbrella on Lip Sync Battle. Sarah. Who is Tom Holland? Tom Holland is right. I Can't Dance 600. It's the traditional dance associated with the music heard here. Listen. Henry. Wait, I did not mean to press the button. I'm sorry. That's okay. Anybody else? That's the uh, Mexican hat dance. Sarah. I can't dance 800. The floss, take the L, and orange justice are all dance moves or emotes featured in this online video game. Jessica. What is Fortnite? Yes. And we'll do I can't dance for a thousand. You can really raise the roof during this type of dance. And that's a barn dance scene here. Jessica. Let's do get your head in the game for 200. Settle down for the longest ride on this hexagonal island at your next game night. Jessica. What is ticket to ride? No. Henry or Sarah? Henry. What is Settlers of Catan? That's right. Uh, go with Bop to the top for 200, please. All right, 2012. Copping it, washing it, about to go and get some compliments. Passing up on those moccasins someone else has been walking in. Jessica. What is thrift shop? That's right. Up off to the top 400. 1982. Let me hear your body talk. Your body talk. Let me hear your body talk. <laughs> and that's physical by Olivia Newton-John. Jessica. Up off to the top 600. 1970. When you're weary, feeling small, when tears are in your eyes, I will dry them all. And that's Simon and Garfunkel, Bridge Over Troubled Water. Jessica. Let's try Humu Humu Nuka Nuka Apua A for 200. Grab a board and hang 10. This sport traces its roots back to 4th century Hawaii. 
Sarah. Are they surfing? That's correct. And at the first break, we have Jessica in the lead with 1,800. Sarah has 600. Henry has negative 400. He won't be there for long, though. <laughs> We're going to talk to everybody when we get back. Welcome back. Henry Coburn is here. He's a, he's a newsman from Spartanburg, South Carolina. Um, he and I, we know each other from the past. It's not a conflict of interest because, again, there is no money. Um, we met in an institution called the University of Florida Fight and Gator Marching Band. Um, and one of our directors had something particularly aspirational that Henry has always really looked up to and had a connection to. What was that, Henry? Yeah, Kirby, you're absolutely right. That was um, our beloved Dr. Berkner. He had this incredible, uh, slightly faded, but overall in great shape, gator head tattoo on his ankle. And, um, you know, it's just always something that I really looked up to and, and I wish I could be more like. Yeah, it's the kind of energy that you want an ankle to exude. I mean, go gators and all, you know. Absolutely. The, the confidence is just unrivaled. Precisely, precisely. Sarah Hall is an ocean lady from St. Petersburg, Florida, who is constructing a, a bit of an architectural marvel right now in her house. Yes, so because we're all locked down in quarantine, we have a lot of stuff getting shipped to us. I started stockpiling all of my cardboard boxes because I decided I wanted to make a cardboard cat castle for my cat, Collins. Uh, it's a work in progress. I still need to put the roof on it, but so far my cat seems to be enjoying it, which is the main goal. And ha like multiple levels and rooms and everything, right? Yes. Well, my cat is freakishly smart, so I have to do a lot to keep him engaged and happy. That's, that's awesome. Honestly, I want to visit his house when it's all said and done. <laughs> Uh, Jessica Finkel's our returning champion. Uh, like I said earlier, 65,000 in two games. Unheard of, maybe. Um, Jessica, uh, you, you've you been supporting a lot of nonprofits, a lot of organizations, and you're representing one tonight, I see. What, what's, what is the, you want to tell us about that? Yeah, so um, this is made by Immigrant Hands. Um, it's a local Charlotte nonprofit um, that one of my friends is a part of. Her family owns it, um, but she is a you know first generation um, American. Her parents immigrated from here, and the whole idea is that you know the United States is made from immigrant hands, um, and so that's kind of what this embodies. Um, and, you know, as the holidays are coming up, I want to make sure that I'm shopping from nonprofits and small businesses. So this was the first step in that process. Yeah. Helping out the hardest hit by everything that's been going on. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Let's get back into it. Um, Sarah Hall had the last correct question. She'll pick again. Let's do Huma Huma for 400. Life finds a way in this 1993 film shot on the Hawaiian island Kauai. That's Jurassic Park. Sarah. Huma Huma 600. The Huma Huma Nuku Nuku Apua'a is more commonly known as this type of fish. Sarah. What is a dolphin fish? No. Jessica or Henry. That is the reef trigger fish. Sarah. Sorry, I'm mad at myself. I worked on <laughs> an aquarium for years. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Huma Huma 800. Hawaii is made up of this many islands, including Maui, Oahu, and Lanai. Hawaii is made up of 137 islands. Sarah. Huma Huma 1000. Safely set sail for Hawaii, the U.S.'s southernmost state that is sans this specimen. Sarah. What is, what is a snake? That's right. Get your head in the game, 400. A former University of Florida swimmer tries to answer everyone's burning question in this reality TV series documenting his life. Jessica. Who is Ryan Lochte? Uh, um, more specific. No. The Ryan Lochte. Sorry. Sorry. Henry. What is Lochte? No. Sarah, sorry, we were looking for the series, the documentary series, or the reality series. It's called, What Would Ryan Lochte Do? 
So Sarah, you can pick again. Got your hand in the game, 600. Some like it hot, some like it mildly translated, just like this numerically named athlete famous for his salsa dance end zone celebrations. Jessica. Who is Chad Ochocinco? That is right. Uh, get your head in the game, 800. Hey, watch this. It's the Daily Double. Oh boy. Jessica, you are uh, in the lead with 2,000. Sarah has half of that with 1,000. Uh, I will wager 400. 400 in the category, get your head in the game. Despite competing for almost a century, this is the only country to have won medals in the Winter Olympics, but not the summer. Who is Greece? No, Liechtenstein. Hmm. Yes, a fun fact. Yeah. Jessica, go again. Well Let's finish the category for a thousand. You got it. In 2020, Nintendo announced its newest lineup of Super Smash characters that hail from this popular video game. Henry. Animal Crossing. Nope. Jessica or Sarah? It was Minecraft. Kind of odd, but true. Jessica. Let's do the boys are back for 200. Et tu brute are the fictional last words of this dictator during his assassination. Henry. Julius Caesar, or who is Julius Caesar? That is right. Good catch on the who is. You can pick again. I will go with Bob to the top for 800, please. 2006. You stand in the line just to hit a new low. You're faking a smile with a coffee to go. That was Bad Day by Daniel Powter. Henry. I'll go Bob to the top, 1,000, please. 1994, I got a new life. You would hardly recognize me. I'm so glad. And that's The Sign by Ace of Base. Henry, one category to go. All right, we'll go for 400, please. Sean Connery, Carrie Elwes, and even a cartoon fox have all depicted this revolutionary leader on screen. It was Robin Hood. Henry. Take it for 600, please. Check this out. Comedian Jim Carrey sparked a feud with this former dictator's granddaughter when he posted this image to his Twitter account. Jessica. Who is Mussolini? That's right. Uh, 800. Nicknamed the Black Spartacus, this man led the largest and most successful slave revolt of all time. What is Toussaint Louverture? Now, here's the last clue. Fond of the guillotine, this prominent figure of the French Revolution called for millions of executions during his career until he himself was overthrown and beheaded. Henry. King Louis? No. Sarah or Jessica? That was Maximilien Robespierre. That was the end of round one. Jessica's in the lead with 2,200. Sarah has 1,000, and Henry is going to pick first in the next round. We'll see you then. Kind of a tough first round. Thanks a lot, writers. <laughs> now, maybe. I feel it for you guys. You guys are going to pick it up here in Double Jeopardy. Here are your categories. First up, we have the arts. Then TikTok. Then the tens. Next, movie math. Then we have shall we bake? And finally, sounds painful. Henry will be selecting first in this round. I'll go TikTok 400, please. The largest clock face in the world is located in this city, also the birthplace of Muhammad. What is Mecca? Henry? TikTok 800, please. Take a look. It's the type of clock seen here. That's a binary clock. Henry? Uh, we'll go with the tens for 400, please. First European contact of this state occurred in 1513. It's our very own Florida. Henry. The tens for 800, please. The United States experienced this number of government shutdowns in the 2010s, far exceeding the recommended dosage of zero. <laughs> we had three of them. Henry. Uh, we'll go with shall we bake for 400, please. There are this many slices of bread in a baker's dozen. Henry. 13. Correct. Shall we bake for 800, please? Hold a torch to the sugar on top to put the finishing touches on this French dessert. Henry. 
What is creme brulee? That's right. Take shall we bake for 1200, please. This state was one of the first to ban marijuana in 1913. Then in 1996 became the first to legalize it for medical use. Henry. What is California? That's right. Double meaning for bake. Did you catch that? All right. <laughs> Henry, go ahead. Great job, Kirby. Thanks. Uh, shall we bake for 1600, please? The mascot of the San Francisco 49ers is named after this type of bread popularized in the area by 19th century gold prospectors. Henry. What is sourdough? That's right. And with that, you are on the plus side again. Took a while. <laughs> go with shall we bake for 2000, please? Shall we bake for 2000 <laughs> is the daily double. As I said moments ago, you just dug yourself out of the hole. You have 1,400. Sarah has 1,000, and Jessica has 2,200. You can wager up to 2,000. I'll wager 1,400, please. All right, all of it in Shall We Bake. Variations in the marijuana plant's leaf structure are indicative of these two strains, one of which gets marijuana connoisseurs salivating more than the other. What is sativa? And the other one? And indica. That is right. 1,400 to Henry. And you can pick again. Excellent. Um, what is that last category? I can't quite see that. That sounds painful. Let's go with sounds painful for 400, please. All right. When you're persuading someone to do something, you're doing this, hopefully metaphorically. Jessica. What is twisting their arm? That is right. Uh, sounds painful for 800. Dean Martin saying, it's just like the fella said, tell me quick, ain't love this. Ain't love a kick in the head. Jessica. Sounds painful, 1200. Take a look, it's the strength exercise seen here. Henry. What is a skull crusher? That's right. Sounds painful, 1600, please. This Tchaikovsky ballet debuted in St. Petersburg, Russia in 1892 and takes place on Christmas Eve. Jessica. What is the Nutcracker? That's right. Sounds painful, 2000. This deadly phrase that describes a formal debrief after a project's completion. Sarah. What is a postmortem? That's right. Let's do movie math, 400. The number of angry men plus the number of Dalmatians. Sarah. What is 113? That's right. Movie math, 800. The number of Spartan soldiers fighting against Persia times the latest currently released Fast and Furious sequel. Henry. What is 2400? That's right. Uh, we'll go with movie math for 1200, please. Steve Carell plays a version of this age divided by this Roman numeral for vendetta. Henry. Uh, eight. What is eight? That's right. Uh, movie math for 1600, please. The street on which the miracle happened, divided by this age again. Jessica. What is two? That's right. 34, 17. Movie math, 2000. In the Dolly Parton workplace comedy, the clock in time minus the clock out time minus the number of weddings that went with a funeral. Jessica. What is eight? Nope. Sarah. What is zero? That is right. Nine minus five minus four, zero. Sarah. Oh, okay. uh, the arts, 400. Simon's other half. Jessica. Who is Garfunkel? That's right. Arts, 800. This cartoon aardvark may have been referred to as art by his close friends. Jessica. Who is Arthur? Right. Uh, Arts 1200. The author of a graphic novel depicting mice as the titular characters. Henry. Of a graphic novel. Ah, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Sarah or Jessica? That was Art Spiegelman. Author of Mouse, I think. I should have looked that up before I said it. <laughs> Jessica. Let's do uh, Art 1600. He was the original host of Jeopardy. That was Art Fleming. Jessica. 
Let's do the tens, twelve hundred. The War of 1812 ended with neither the U.S. nor the U.K. achieving their purpose for entering the war, a phenomenon known as this. Henry. What is a stalemate? That's right. Uh, we will go with the arts for 2,000, please. Though he preferred to go by his middle name, this art declared war on Germany after they invaded Poland. That was Neville Chamberlain. His first name was Arthur. Henry. We'll go with the tens for 1,600, please. In 1911, she became the first person to win the Nobel Peace Prize twice. That was Marie Curie. Henry. The tens for 2000, please. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and in 1611, the English monarchy sought to unite its people with this newly translated text. And that's the King James Version of the Bible. Henry. Three clues left. 1,200, please. Oh, isn't that a coincidence? Daily double. Henry, you're in the lead with 6,000. Sarah's up next with 5,400, and Jessica has 5,000. It's incredibly close. I'm going to wager zero dollars, please. <laughs> For zero. The Skipple clock is an art installation in which a projection of a man is shown painting and repainting the hands of a clock every minute in this Dutch city's airport. What is Holland? No. What is Amsterdam? But it doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> Zero yeah. dollars get taken away from you and you go again. I'll go for 1600 please. Big Ben is often mistaken for the name of the tower itself, but it more specifically refers to this. Sarah. What is the clock? No. Nope. Oh. Jessica or Henry? What is the largest bell in the tower? Henry. You leave me no choice, but oh, for 2000 please. You're right. Uh, how silly of me. Before alarm clocks became an affordable household item, this person was in charge of waking people up. And that's a knocker upper. End of the second round. That's a fun fact. It makes you giggle. Um, end of the second round. I think I said first before. End of the second round. Uh, Sarah is in the in third place with thirty eight hundred. Jessica has five thousand. Henry has six thousand. And now your final Jeopardy category for today is inventions. Think about it. Send me your wagers. See you later. The final Jeopardy category is inventions. So that narrows it down to all objects ever. Here's your clue. Alexander Graham Bell intended for the proper telephone greeting to be this word, but users had a different idea. 30 seconds. Good luck. We will go to you first. You had 3,800 in the regular game. And you answered, what is ahoy? That is right. You wagered 2,201, bringing you to 6,001. Jessica was up next uh, with $5,000, as we say jokingly. Uh, and she responded, what is ahoy? That's also right. Oh, and the little heart. I love it. Thank you. Um, <laughs> And you wagered everything, taking you, doubling your score, taking you to 10,000. Henry. <laughs> Great job, you two. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to interpret this reaction, but okay. Henry was in the lead at the beginning with 6,000. And he answered, what is greetings? Unfortunately, that's not correct. <laughs> you wagered 500, taking you down to 5,500. Jessica Finkel retains her championship and now has a three-day total of $75,000. Again, not a lick of it real. Why does it matter? Well, I had a lovely time. Thank you for joining us and join us next time. Bye. Bye.